Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see a different kind of effect or animation in Adobe After Effects. Today we are going to move to some real world graphics and I'm going to show you that how can you create a snap effect or you can say a skaterize effect in Adobe After Effects. So let us preview that what we are going to create today. So this is the snap effect or the skaterize effect that we are going to create today in our After Effects tutorials video. The basic concept behind this effect is that there is a person or it could be any other object that is being skaterized into nothing. And then there is a slight movement of the background which gives an effect that this is a real world graphics or real thing is happening but actually no video is involved over here and it's just a play of images so let's start and see that what we are going to do to create the skate rise effect first of all you have to create a new composition so for that you know you can go to composition in the menu bar and press new composition then uh, name it anything that you want i am naming it as snap effect now keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration you can keep of uh, around 5 to 6 seconds. So I am keeping a 6 second duration. Now press OK. The next thing that uh, you need to do is uh, import some of the images in your project. Now I have got two images. One is of this car and um, the other of this human. Now this human image was uh, shown in the sample animation. So this time I'm going to create this animation out of this car. But if you want, you can just go with the human image as well. Basically, what would we need for this animation is a clear background image that consists of nothing. So just press S and scale it up a little bit uh, so that it fits the dimensions of your composition and make sure that your image is high quality enough so that its pixels won't distort when you are increasing its dimensions or uh, if you want you can just choose a high quality image or a high dimension image that's totally up to you and the second image that uh, we have got is of our object so this is the image of our object and uh, this is just the object so if we turn off this background image then you can see we have only got this object that is this car without any background and nothing so this is the two types of images that uh, we need for this effect and uh, you got to scale it up as well so that it fits to the background just like this now uh, if you want you can download these images from the internet very easily or if you want I will share the download link of uh, some of these images in the description so you can download those images from there as well now similarly if I show you for the human uh, images then also I have got this uh, human background so let's turn it off a little bit and uh, this is the human background image that we have got. If you want, you can just scale it up as well. Adjust it to the uh, composition dimensions and then uh, select this human image. It is just a human like this. So you got to adjust its position and its dimensions so that it looks like actually a human is walking over there okay so this is the perfect angle for me or if you want you can just uh, adjust its dimensions as per your wish now whatever the set of the images that you are choosing make sure uh, you have to get two images one it is of a plain background without anything on it and the next image should be of just an object without any background so once you have got your desired images, what you are going to do is um, just take this um, background image and uh, go to effects and presets. Now we are going to apply an effect to it that is known as optics compensation. So search for it and you will find it under this dot. Apply it onto your background image. Now what we are going to do is uh, turn off our object image for a while. Make sure you are on the very first frame of your uh, composition. 
then keyframe this value of field of view at zero. Now move to the very last frame of your animation that is around six seconds and increase its field of view uh, value. Now you will see that um, this background is distorting at the edges. So what you are going to do is check this reverse lens distortion option and increase its value a little bit more like this. All right, so now we are going to preview it. So you can see that um, your background has got a little bit of motion in it. And this is exactly that we want so that it gives a little bit depth to your scene and it appears as if it is a moving video instead of a still image. Now, once you have got your um, moving animation, uh, what we are going to do is turn back our object layer, turn its visibility back on then uh, press ctrl d to duplicate it now uh, move forward about a few frames in time so since we have kept a frame rate of 30 frames per second so i'm moving to about 15 frames and just split your uppermost background layer over here now you can go to edit and uh, select split layer or you can just press ctrl shift d now make sure that the layer that is shorter in length is just above and the layer that is bigger in length is below. What we are going to do is uh, make sure that we are on the last frame for this layer and just keyframe the value of opacity. Press T to bring up opacity for this uppermost layer and uh, change its value to a 0% and keyframe it. Now move back. Now uh, move back to about uh, two or three frames. Change the value of opacity back to 100%. And what we are going to do is just drag this layer. Uh, we are going to zoom in a little bit between these two keyframes. We have to drag this layer just like this. And if you want, you can just move this keyframe a little bit over here. So um, at around 13 frames, the opacity value of the object is set at 100%. At the very next frame, that is at the 14th frame, uh, when its opacity value turns to about 50%, we have dragged on this uh, downwards layer and at the 15th frame, its opacity is set to a 0%. Now, uh, this is exactly the setting that we want. Move to the 14th frame and go to effects and presets and search for an effect called skate rise. You will find an effect called CC Skaterized under simulation. So take it and apply it on your below background layer. Now you can just turn its visibility on. Just keyframe the value of skater at 0% and the value of right twist at a 0% on 14 frames. Now uh, move to around uh, 3 seconds in time and uh, increase the value of skater to around 150 um, or a 300 would be all right and also increase the right twist value to a 3x then uh, go to around four seconds or three and a half seconds would be good now increase this value of skato to around a 9000 and then go to around four seconds in time and here what we are going to do is press T to bring up the opacity. Now keyframe the value of opacity at 100%. Move to the very next frame and just change the value of opacity back to a 0%. So this is the basic concept behind the skate rise effect. What we have done is first slowly increase the value of skatering effect so that it looks to the viewer. It um, is shown to the viewer that the object is actually scattering off and after that we have increased it tremendously to just make sure that those particles are spread everywhere and then this opacity is set to a zero percent to just remove those particles from the area of visibility now if we just preview our animation okay so now you must have seen this orange bar over here so just change your resolution to an auto so you can see that this is the kind of effect, uh, skatering effect that we have got. And um, what we are going to do is press a U for this layer on which we have um, 
applied our scattering effect to bring up its keyframes and we are going to manipulate some of the values. Like this value that we keyframed at 3 seconds, change its time to around 2 seconds and uh, bring this opacity keyframe close to the time uh, when we are changing the value to a 9000. Now at this particular keyframe also increase the value of right twist to a 5x. So if we just preview our animation now. So these are these arrangements which you can always adjust as per your wish and uh, choice. It's totally up to you for these arrangements. This is the arrangement that I like but you can take any arrangement of your choice. So that is all for the scattering effect video or the snap effect video. And I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. Keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.